Hey, good morning and welcome to Construct Connect's LinkedIn Live event. This is the perfect blend of AIA Master Spec and Construct Connect. And we're going to be talking about how building products, construction materials are selected and specified in commercial construction. If you even have the slightest entrance in how, how why, where construction materials are specified, you're gonna to wanna to stick around for the next 30 minutes or so here. My name is Paul Hart. I'm the Vice President of Product Marketing for Data Innovation here at Construct Connect. And I'm sincerely excited to get to talk with two of the construction industry's leading experts on how and why products show up in construction specifications, Doug Bevel and Derek Guffey. Doug is the Vice President of Manufacturer Solutions at Construct Connect. He's got over 30 years of industry experience and Doug now focuses on consulting with building product manufacturers on general strategy and optimal ways to leverage Construct Connect's best in class construction information and other marketing solutions to run their businesses. Before joining Construct Connect, Doug spent 18 years at McGraw Hill Construction and he's held executive positions with the Flact Group, uh, the Hager Companies, and he's past president of the BIM Object Incorporated. And now Derek Guffey is our Vice President of Product Marketing for the Manufacturer segment, and he's been with Construct Connect since 2006. Before joining Construct Connect, Derek worked as a registered architect for 12 years in Indiana. He's got a unique skill set that provides him with a deep understanding of how architecture and building products come together in the built environment. Uh, Derek is uh, still a registered architect in the state of Indiana, and he is lead AP, a member of the American Institute of Architects Manufacturers Council, and an associate member of the AIA. So not only are these gentlemen clearly experts in building product specifications, they are also good friends of mine, I'm proud to say, and colleagues that I really enjoy talking shop with. So let's, let's get started here. So I'm gonna start with Doug. Doug, tell us what is Master Spec? Hello everybody, thank you, Paul. Uh, Master Spec is a product of the American Institute of Architects or as most people refer to the acronym, the AIA. It's over 50 years old. It was developed uh, in the workflow or to improve the workflow of architects and specifiers to, to find, to research and find products uh, to put in their projects and, you know, as they go forward. Uh, re uh, recently, in the past 10 years, we've started creating solutions for building product manufacturers to help them promote their specifications in the master spec environment to the uh, AIA constituency who, were, who use who use master spec. So it, it's a spec editing tool uh, that that we can create basis of design unique unique specifications that with unique selling points for building product manufacturers. Right. And it also allows the manufacturer to get front and center uh, to the general contractor to the general contractors for uh, requests for quotes and, and things that go along with growing your business. Great. So that that sets up master spec. So how does that tie in with Construct Connect? How is Construct Connect, Derek? I'll ask this. You, how how does Construct yeah. Connect on its own help manufacturers as well as contractors? Well, hey, hey, manufacturers got the work cut out for them because this is a this is a very hard thing to do, right? Uh, right. Getting, getting specified is only half the battle, and and really staying connected to those jobs throughout the construction life cycle is is. Um, where the rubber meets the road, right? Uh, so we, we are, what Construct Connect does is really enables uh, sales teams and marketing teams to, to uh, once we get you specified, to, to really have connectivity to those, those projects and companies that are driving specification throughout the, the construction life cycle. Um, you know, you can, you can lose a job anywhere along uh, pre-construction, whether it's in early design, uh, maintaining that spec through bidding or even post bid is, is unfortunately people get shopped on, on the backside of a, a bid. And what Construct Connect does is really gives you visibility into uh, the bidding activity, the planning activity, uh, the, the people and design teams that are taking part on, on those, those uh, projects and ultimately puts you in a good position to, to maintain that connection. Uh, you combine it with master spec on the front end, uh, which is kind of your ante, and 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 uh, we pull that through all the way and really keep you connected throughout that life cycle. So, and I think a key thing there that you said that it was kind of like a big learning point for me, and I think you around the same time 
um, several years ago, we really started engaging some building product manufacturers is that it, it, it can happen anywhere along the life cycle of a project until that product, um, that solution is in the structure. It, it's a challenge. Building product manufacturers have to stay on top of it. They don't just put it in a specification and hope all goes well, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think, um, you know, when you think about uh, what drives architectural decisions, liability is, is first and foremost. And, right. And the, one of the, the great things about master spec is it, it really uh, removes that worry of liability. Uh, people that are listed in master spec have, have went through a thorough reviewing process, meet industry standards, and ultimately that tool allows architects to choose with confidence the, the right products for the right job um, and, and really set that, that up. Um, you know, it, liability, it saves them time. You know, on the front end, you know, time's a necessity when you're an architect, right? You're, you're working long hours. Um, you, get, you got all kinds of building product manufacturers, try, manufacturers trying to reach out to you to, to gain time share. Uh, to teach right. and educate about those products. So uh, yep. master specs uniquely positioned to to be uh, allow products to be visible at the point of decision and ultimately uh, pulled into that that pro project manual uh, right from the jump. So that ties in all the let's so let me jump back over to Doug, right? So he so what Derek's touching on is then why he went from like why it makes sense that for starting with the liability, right? That that all designers are are concerned about, and then we get to where the BPM. So, what? Tell me how. What kind of challenges that BPMs are facing getting in front of these folks, making sure they're just getting into the specifications, getting seen at the right time. How does how does Master Spec help the BPM from that side? Well, I, I got to, you know, kind of, I got to piggyback on what Derek just said. First of all, building product manufacturer of the entire building team is the only entity who has to deal with everybody on the building team on every project. <laughs> From all right. the architects to subcontractors to distributors, you know, Master Spec is the first piece of that. Master Spec is the research tool for that. But once you get into that office master, you're going to more than likely be in most of the projects in that architect's office. Uh, then it comes time to defend that specification. And as Derek had rightly pointed out before, is you can be value engineered at almost any point in time. That's where Construct Connect uh, product can keep you, one, alert you that you're specified, which is the first thing you need to know. Uh, secondly, if you're specified, your, your distributor and, and uh, subcontractor channels are going to be requested to quote your products on that project. That's really good. The thing is, it puts a little bit of a target on your back too. So you got to make sure that you're you're tracking that spec right. throughout the project life cycle, or as we refer to it, the continuum. Um, so how did yeah? Hey, hey Paul, I, I yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, you know, and and what one of the things that that um, good strategies for building product manufacturers is is to really look back um, and analyze the specification habits of firms so you can be more strategic. And you know, that, that's one, one thing that we have the capability of doing is, is really taking a step back after, after everything's kind of went through that process and evaluate uh, through, through tools of Construct Connect uh, where you've had significant impact uh, in, in, in at, a, at a firm level, not, not so much at, at a, a project level, but, but really if you're, if you're developing a go-to-market strategy to identify um, which companies you're strong from a specification standpoint or weak, uh, we have tools to really uh, allow you that visibility and set your strategy. And, and, and uh, I, I think tactically that, that's a, a great approach, you know, to, to learn from, yep. from uh, the market. Hey, so D Doug, can I, 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 let, I'll go ahead and let, let you finish. I want to hear if you could tie this into like, why, I, I want to hear like walk through like why, how a building product manufacturer, why it makes sense for them. We, we've kind of defined the solutions in Construct Connect platform and then what master spec can do for them and walk us through like, what does that really mean for a product, for a product manufacturer? The actual steps from the relationship with master spec through the analysis with, with Construct Connect. So to go back to something one of you pointed out, to get into master spec, we I'm on a panel of folks who decide what manufacturers meet the right criteria to be part of the platform. 
every week. Gotcha. Okay. You know, every day. But to jump to kind of just Derek and I are kind of doing a bit of a back and forth here to kind of solidify his statement. You know, it's one thing to be named in a specification. It's another thing to have your specification in there. I mean, and your name as an equal does not make you defendable to the architect. So if someone right. master documents, especially the basis of design documents, will give you a defendable specification at the point of a value engineer where someone's trying to take an unlike, maybe less expensive product and sub it for you, then the architect mm -hmm. can know it's got to meet that criteria to even be considered. So, right. so just having your name in a project is not is not really a specification. It's just your name in a project <laughs> and, and your spec and you're very vulnerable. For, yeah, important to so, know. Construct Connect will allow you to say, one, you're specified, here's the other folks that are specified, and alert your, your, your customer channel as to what's coming down the pike, and allow them to solidify their general contractor relationships to make sure you, you know, can maintain the spec and get the order. Mm -hmm. Does that make Fantastic. sense? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, abs <laughs> absolutely it does. What kind of outreach does Master Spec have? I mean, what are we talking about? Who's, what are, who, how many specifiers are really using Master Spec? Well, for the most part, most of the American Institute of Architect constituency uses Master Spec. It's the okay. AI product. That makes sense, right? So, yep. uh, but it's it's a total of about fifty five hundred uh, firms that subscribe to use Master Spec as a as a wow. product research tool. And then there's about 10, 10 average seats per per firm. So it's around six thousand sixty thousand sets of eyeballs a day. Okay. Form. I like to tell building product manufacturers you spend tens of thousands of dollars, especially pre-COVID, to go to trade shows, advertising magazines. Right. Uh, but this is a trade show every day. I mean, and, you know, the cost of a trade shows are expensive. This is not that, and it's not, not related to that from an expense perspective, but you get in front of more people every single day. That's a great point. It, to me, it's the best product content distribution sh a, a marketing tool in the industry, bar none. And I've been a building product executive. I can... I can tell you. You can attest to that, right? that what that means, yeah. Yeah, Derek, I, gonna, I, yeah. yeah I, I wanted to add a little bit. You know, uh, one, one of the things, uh, the, the delivery process is also changing now, right? So, and, and what I mean by that is it, a, a typical design bid build is some somewhat a, a thing of, I won't say the past because it's still, you know, we still see it out there. But the delivery process with the influence of construction management firms, uh, as, as well as general contractors, uh, getting involved more with specification really dictates building product manufacturers to start developing strategies uh, that can also influence GCs and, and CMs to, to start to get pulled into jobs uh, more proactively. I think with, with master spec you know we're, we are leaning heavily on the the architects and engineers but with co the construct connect platform you know that visibility into the activity of construction management firms as well as general contractors really starts to to give building product manufacturers the the capability of developing go-to-market strategies that are distinctly focused on on uh, those two segments uh, I, I think uh, if, if you're not doing that, you're behind. Uh, so, right. so you know, we, we can help you uh, uh, put together some of those strategies to, to to get involved with those folks. That makes sense. Yeah, we got our folks. We do. Our, our teams are are uniquely qualified, right, to to do some of that consulting and help you build that that strategy with our tools. I should real quick point out that, that, that we do we want this to be a conversation with any viewers out there. So um, if you've got a question, if you've got a comment for Derek or Doug, uh, there should be a, a dialogue box there to, to enter in a question in this uh, LinkedIn live event. So please feel free to, to ask a question of the team. Uh, Doug, let me ask you what how complete is the specification library of master spec? Uh, it's uh, well, it's certainly the most complete specification library in the industry by far. So it's, it's some some seven thousand plus specifications. Wow. Okay. In there, um, you know, uh, and uh, so and it's it's there right now. It's divided between an enhanced listing, which is a normal specification, 
lot of times architects and specifiers don't want to put in proprietary content, right? They want to keep it open. And then there's also the basic design or uh, or uh, unique unique at, unique attributed specification where our writers actually work with the manufacturer on writing the spec. The manufacturer even even gets to name who they want to compete with on bid day. So and that's, wow, that's okay. Yeah, so that's that's a very powerful product uh, there, and and the thing is changing in the industry. Derek touched on it rightly, which is the the move from design bid build to integrated project delivery, CM at risk, uh, design build. The contractors are a lot more involved in the product selections, and that brings in pricing situations like it never has before. So I really think it's it, to his point having that specification tight as tight as you can get it so that you reduce your your, your competitors down to where they have to really provide an a equal product to yours and so that the contractor cannot just make a willy-nilly substitution without involving and looking at the spec to make sure it works uh, we've got a question here um doug you, you'll probably best to help answer this we've got a question from one of our viewers here about what, what's the cost for a ventilation component for master spec. So I know the answer is, well, your product has to go through the approval process. Right? Can you like quickly tell us about that? So if I, I'm a manufacturer, I've got a new component. It, it hasn't been approved in master spec. What does that kind of ecosystem look like that I've got to kind of submit for approval? And, and how does that, how does that work? If well, I wanted to be current, able to become part of it. The way the current yes, product is, I'm sorry, you broke up just broke up just a little bit, small. Sorry, um, no the the way that the, that's okay. It's life and life life today. So yeah. anyway, the way uh, the way it, the way it works with with uh, building prop with with master spec, there's already a lot of manufacturers that are in the uh, library that are approved. So in that particular situation, if the manufacturer already has their product approved in the in the library, that means you're already in there as what's called a basic listing. There's no spec content there. It's just your name. Okay. Right. But what's nice about that is that you can easily just say, hey, I want to, I want to, if it's an HVAC component, uh, we, we check that first. If you're there, then we just tell our sales guy to go ahead and move on and quote you. And so we, we sell sections, okay, which are basically mm -hmm. CSI defined right now. And it's, you know, it's about, it's about $14,000 for a section. Uh, right now, it depends on how many sections you buy. There's discounts that are involved there. And then we uh, take it from there and we start to, to, to work with you on writing your specifications and getting you into the library. If you're not in the in that pre-approved group, then we take you through an approval process, which just means we're going right. to ask you a bunch of, I mean, not a bunch, just several questions about, you know, your product, are you marketing it nationally, so on and so forth. Is your content available, is your, is your testing available on the web, uh, like UL and ASTM or even Intertech type testing. Uh, and then from there we move forward. It's about a 30 day process and uh, we do it all the time. Fantastic. Yeah. That's constantly, co constantly coming in. We're constantly reviewing. I mean, there, there's always a, a backlog of folks. Yeah. That's great. And we have um, some 4,600 manufacturers that aren't approved that are in our, in our database that we're dealing with all the time. Excellent. Um, and thanks for that question, Joseph. Appreciate you uh, putting that in Derek. Um, when, can you walk me through like a, once a manufacturer is like, okay, what, what could a manufacturer uh, or distribute? Who, how, what would they, what should they expect once they're in master spec, right? They've gone through the process that Doug just described. Uh, what should a, a BPM expect, especially like from the Construct Connect side as, as far as support and, and the tools we touched on a little bit, but maybe just like a specific case of like uh, how they would uh, continue to rely on Construct Connect uh, to support that master spec effort. Yeah, I, I think you know what one of the beauties about master spec is is th this is um, it's it's marketing within a tool that architects and engineers are using, right? So right. Those, those, those specs find their way into the market, and and I our ability to really analyze those results to to look into um, you know we collect project plans and and um, specs and drawings on projects, right? And, and we really uh, are combining all that data into a very large database that allows you to, to navigate through, filter down and, and find the projects that are most relevant for you. Well, those plans and specs that were created in master spec, 
ultimately show up in the Construct Connect system. And, and we're going to be able to analyze those, look through those with our, our tool to, to really uncover and, and help you, as I mentioned before, set that strategy around those, um, those customers that, that may be specifying you and not. Now, now that, 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 that really sets you, your, your sales teams up for, for being really effective in how they're approaching the front end. But, but that's only half the battle, as we mentioned, right? So we're going to uh, allow you transparency into that firm's activity, the projects they're working on, right? and ultimately allow you to align with those and, and ensure that you're getting bids and, uh, and addendas and, and all, all, of, all of those quotes put together in a timely fashion or through your distribution network to ultimately drive more revenue for your company. Fantastic. We're getting, we're getting some great questions in here. Thanks for that, Derek. And and let me, uh, we got a follow-up question from our friend Joseph here. He was asking about it and I, I know the answer and, and Doug, tell us the answer. How much does it cost for a building product manufacturer uh, to go through the uh, product approval process? Nothing. Thank it's, you. That's nothing. It's free. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks that's what I definitely want to Yeah. 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 That's great. And so here's another one. Um, Doug has master spec uh, moved from the old word based software to a web product. Yes. Yes. The default, the default platform for, uh, for master spec is cloud based. It's called spec builder cloud. And they still, the, the, because architects and engineers still want a word document in many ways, you know, we haven't, we haven't sunsetted that product yet only because the demand for it is still there. Um, gotcha. But our, our default, our default software is cloud-based Spec Builder Cloud. That's Spec Builder Cloud, great. Right, right. Yep. Okay, Eric. Hope that answers uh, your question. Um, what other guys? We're we're getting close to the bottom of the hour here. What else have we not hit on, Derek? That that you kind of want to share? Why this is a perfect blend with Master yeah, Spec hey, and 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 Construction. I, I might uh, off that last question. You know, there's some some really exciting things coming. Um, yeah. you know, we're not going to tip our hand, but, but, um, uh, uh, if, if you, uh, I, at the AIA show last week, um, uh, there was a, a press release, you know, uh, I do some surfing on the web. I'm, I'm sure it's, it's very available. Our partner company, Dell tech, uh, has been working closely with the AIA. They got some real exciting news to share on the, the platform front. So, uh, right. Uh, I think uh, very soon you're going to see a new home for master spec with, a um, a, a lot of enhancements. Um, uh, greatly improved UI, much more visual. Uh, we're, we're really excited to, to share that that's, that's on its way. Um, you know, we're, we'll, uh, you'll be hearing more, uh, in the upcoming months, but, uh, um, start, start looking for that. should be great. It's going to be exciting. So, um, let's get final words here, guys, and we'll wrap this up. Derek, I'll, uh, I'll stay with you. Uh, sum us up here in, in, in what we've got two ingredients, master spec, Construct Connect solutions, they make a, 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 a perfect blend. Yeah, I, I think anyone that's really focused on specification, uh, the, these two tools used in conjunction with, uh, with each other allow you to be um, on the front end of decision and, and really keep you con connected and, and maintain those and drive those relationships on the back end. Uh, it, it's just a nice blend of tools, right? That that uh, we 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 get you in front of those architects and engineers early in the process, and then allow you to to really keep that connectivity throughout. Excellent, thanks. And Doug, uh, last words from you on on our topic here, focusing on the blend of these two solutions together. Well, you know, the, the one thing that both solutions do, and I break the market up into indirect influencers and direct influencers. Indirect influencers are the architects and engineers and professional specifiers who will include your product content in the projects, okay? The, if you're trying to get more mind share of your, for your distributors, you need to be in mass respect to get front and center, get those specifications in there, then they will quote you. They're going to quote you. It's, a, it's, it's just a front to end and, 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 Construct Connect data helps you say, oh, now I'm getting specified by this firm that never specified me before. And now it's going through and you need to be able to track where you're specified so that you can ensure, one, your distributor is going to get asked to quote it for sure. It's just you need to know about that. 
<laughs> it's happening when you don't know about it. You're stuck on projects. Right. <laughs> don't know your spec. Only Construct Connect can tell you that. So that's right. Yeah. So it's uh, and the other thing that that the insight is really good at too for the manufacturers is telling you not only who's specking you, but more importantly who's not specking you. That's right. So that you that's an opportunity. Okay, that's an opportunity. Yep. So uh, that's a, another another plug there on on the side of of the of, of the data side of it because I've used both. And uh, that's right. how we used it to see who was not specking us, and we would do lunch and learns. That's right. That's it. That is the import, important information I, I've found, or that the at least manufacturer told me is knowing. It's more important to know who is not specking me. Who do I think is specking me enough? And come to find out, boy, there's an awful lot of their projects I'm not getting specified on. Well, the thing is, right? is that you know when you're spec because you get asked to quote the project. Okay. Right. It's the ones you don't know because you're right. not, you don't have the visibility because you're not in the specs. Excellent. And, and, and to Derek's point, we can do that with our data. Great. Guys, this has been great for me. I hope it's been fun for folks to listen to. Kelly Murphy, thanks for the shout out. There. She made a great comment there in the, in the chat. Thanks for our questions from the listeners. Matt Richardson, one of our colleagues, is on the chat too. And he was kind enough to offer his email address that we will direct to any listener that has questions and wants to know more about Master Spec and how Master Spec and Construct Connect can help really drive great business outcomes for building product manufacturers. Uh, check out, uh, please email Matt, uh, his email, check out his email there in the conversation chat, matt.richardson at constructconnect.com. Thanks everyone for joining us today. It's been a fantastic conversation. I always enjoy talking to uh, Derek and Doug, uh, even if it has to be virtually uh, <laughs> this time. But I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Thanks we'll see all. you next time. Take care, guys.